Hi, it's Joe with Right Home Inspections again on a lovely Friday afternoon. Going to show you some issues I found here in Plymouth under a deck. Um, looking at a deck on a nice home in Plymouth, and uh, we've got quite a few issues I want to show you. Uh, decks only last 10 to 20 years. You know, that's a, that's a wide variance, but there's a lot of variables involved. But the bottom line is wood doesn't last forever outdoors. It gets wet, it sits in snow, it stays wet all winter long, and that tends to rot it. So we've got some chronic uh, rot in this deck, and then we've got some design issues that are improper. Let me turn the camera on, and I'll show you what I've got. Uh, so we're underneath the deck here, and the first thing I want to point out is that the floor joists, let me back up here, oh, I'll turn the camera around. Um, the floor joists are too far apart. These are actually 24 inches on center. The standard is 16 on inches on center. Uh, now, it could be that that can be worked with with the proper decking on top, but the decking that's on top is the standard five quarter, which is inch and a quarter thick decking, um, which is designed for 16 inch on center uh, joist spacing. So with 24 inch on joist, uh, 24 inch on center joist spacing, could be that we should go to true lumber, which would be inch and a half thick. Uh, so it would be two by material to get the additional strength for the extra width of the joists. So that's one thing. Um, secondly, we've got a beam here that's uh, sitting on a nice column there. We've got a six by six beam sitting on a six by six column. Um, but over here, when it gets to the end, other end, uh, it's actually sitting on top of a, one, a two by 12 or two by 10. Um, so there's very little of the beam that's actually sitting on top of that two by. And actually you can see that it has broken and it is sagging. Um, and actually if I push on it, I guess I need both hands, but actually I can push up and down on this. Um, it's rotten up inside here um, from being wet and wicking water into the end of that. So as it rots, it gets weaker. And because it's only sitting on a one and a half inch ledge, that's nowhere near enough support. Uh, so this whole beam needs to be replaced. Uh, another problem we have, which is kind of a common issue with older decks, is that the uh, deck, the ledger board, as it's where it's attached to the house, uh, it's attached with nails. Now you can see there's two nails vertically. Uh, that's how it's attached to the house. That, that should be leg bolted or screwed to the side of the house so that if there's any lateral movement to the deck, it doesn't pull out. Nails will pull out because they don't have the ribs or the ridges like a, like a screw does. So that's another issue that needs to be addressed. Uh, we're gonna go over here and this five quarter decking, you can see from down below here, it's showing signs of chronic moisture uh, starting to seep into it. Uh, it's kind of green down below, which is early signs of rot. Uh, but then there's a, a few places in it. it. Sometimes it's the luck of the draw. I just happened to step in the right place where I found a deck board that was totally rotten. Um, I believe it was the end of this one right here. You can see there's an edge there. If I stick my finger up in it, I can stick my finger into the wood. Uh, that deck board is totally rotten. If I put all my weight, and I won't tell you what that is, on that board, it's likely I would break through. So there's quite a few components of this deck that are either weak or poorly designed. So as a whole, my recommendation would be that the deck does not get used in its current condition and it be repaired or replaced as needed and as recommended by a qualified deck contractor or structural engineer. So another reason for a thorough home inspection from Right Home Inspections. That's all for now.